and let me not break it. Hey, hey guys, what's going on? It's Kimberly Rose here and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about gift buying for people with disabilities, all right? I've looked online and I have not found too much information when it comes to buying gifts for people with disabilities. Hey, we like gifts too, honey, okay? So I thought, let me put together this video and talk about some really helpful gadgets and items that have really enriched my life, okay? So whether your price point is on the low side or the high side, wherever you fall in between, I got a gift for you, okay? So pay attention to the video, take some notes, and make some people happy or yourself this holiday season. So let's get into the video. All right guys, so gift number one is going to be these gloves that I have on here. You can get these from Gloves for Life. These are a size small and the color is gray or green, one of them. I've worn these, um, I've had these really for probably over a year and they're kind of worn a bit, but they still last. They last for a long, long time. They're so helpful when it comes to pushing the wheelchair. They not only protect your hands, they keep your hands clean, and they also help you grip the wheelchair, which is so key. Think about these gloves, and I'll put the price and where to find these gloves in the description box, so look for that, okay? So the next gift is going to be the fanny pack. Yes, y'all, I'm bringing a fanny pack on here as a gift idea because let's face it, as wheelchair users, it's difficult carrying a bunch of stuff, holding a purse, or putting the backpack behind us that has our phones, our keys, everything, and we gotta turn around and get it out. No, put it all in the fanny pack right here and save some time, okay, in your life. I've been stopped, might I add, numerous times when I'm out and about, and people have been like, where'd you get your fanny pack from? And to be honest, I got this from Target. And the nice thing is also, if you have dexterity issues, they have this attachment, this fringe that's attached to the zipper. So you can easily pull it and close your purse, which is really, really nice, okay? Almost like a quad created this. You can put your cards, license, key, lip gloss, whatever you wanna put in here. You can even probably fold up a little catheter and put it in here too. Okay, you see how that opens? Put it around me, both sides, hook, grab it on this side. Close it, and you got your fanny pack on. How cute is that? A really, really nice gift idea. So the next gift idea is going to be the charging disc, okay? This disc is very helpful and useful for people with limited hand function because you don't have to worry about using your fingers to plug in your phone. All you have to simply do is put your phone right on top and it'll charge I your phone, which is really nice. I'm pretty sure they sell this disc, charging disc, in many different places. I'm just super new. I, I found it recently and I was like, wow, this is super helpful. This charging disc is compatible with different devices. So you don't have to only have an iPhone. You don't have to only have an Android. Um, this will work with both, which is cool. The next gift, let's talk about the Apple Watch, okay? I told y'all the gifts were gonna range from high to low, so this is the most expensive item, okay? The Apple Watch. Let's say a little backstory. I bought this probably two or three years ago, two years ago when I was in graduate school, and I used my student loan money to buy this Apple Watch. This was the most expensive gadget that I'd ever bought on my own, and so, I knew that it was gonna be a huge help and it was, y'all. One day I was getting out of bed in my apartment and I fell and I was able to get help because I had my Apple Watch on. I was able to use my Apple Watch and call out and talk to, to somebody. But if it hadn't been for this, who knows what would have happened. I probably would still be on the floor right now. Maybe it's an investment for, maybe not this holiday, but in the future. So you're gonna thank me when you see this holiday gift here. Look at these fuzzy sandals. I've been seeing this trend everywhere. So many women have been wearing these all over my Instagram. And I've wanted to wear these sandals, these slippers, whatever you think they are. I've been wanting to wear these shoes for the longest, but they didn't have a strap. And these were a gift. And when I got these, I was like, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to wear slippers. But then when I saw the strap in the back, I was like, yo, that's genius. And they don't come off of my feet. It's super easy to wear and slip on 
You can be fashionable and comfortable and cute at the same time. These are such a good gift idea, you guys, especially for the holidays in the winter time, just chilling around the house, which most of us, or all of us, have been doing lately. And yeah, these came from UGG. These are a size nine and they are so, so cute. So let's talk about the resistance band, all right? If you have been following me for a little bit, you know that I love the resistance band. This was a game changer for me when I was in the hospital and they introduced me to these bands and I kind of neglected them for a while, but picked them back up recently and they're so, so, so useful when it comes to your fitness routine because you can attach them to different parts of your wheelchair, different places around where you are, around the house, the community. You can just find a place and you can just work out and they have different resistance levels, okay? I don't know what blue means, Blue probably is one of the beginner levels because they have like different colors and each color is a different resistance. So they have yellow, I think they have red, I've seen green, this is blue. So think about that as another option. The Waffle Maker, this is for my foodies out there who love breakfast, brunch, just love to eat, honey, just like me, all right? This is for you. This waffle maker I got from Target. I recently made a video on Instagram just showing how I use the waffle maker and I'll insert a clip kind of just showing you guys how exactly I use it but it's it's just really a good idea especially if you have had an accident and you haven't been able to get back into the kitchen this is a nice way to kind of reintroduce yourself into the kitchen again okay so start with breakfast if you want to contribute a little something why not start with waffle so think about this as a gift idea this was ten dollars at Target they have different colors and um, I think they have different shapes too, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, check it out. And I'll put, as always, a link in the description box so you know exactly where to get it. And if that's something that you are interested in getting for somebody that you love. Let me not break it and I'll be able to show you guys. This heater is my child. I love this heater so much, you guys. All right, I bought this heater probably about two years ago or so. And I don't know how I've lived life without this heater. Truly, it is everything to me. It has helped me so, I, I literally use this heater, y'all, all throughout the year. In the summertime, when it's hot outside, I will use this heater. In the freezing cold, obviously I'm gonna use this heater. I just, this heater is on all throughout the year. As a quadriplegic, uh, we are unable to regulate our temperature in our body. When people feel hot, we feel cold often and then vice versa, okay? So because of that reason and also because I am anemic, that is why I run cold as well. For those two reasons, I'm just a cold bitch, okay? I'm just always freaking cold all the time. I'm in the car, like turn the air off. For that reason, I thought it was best for me to get a portable heater and I can just fry myself to death in peace. This is the one that I like. I put it on my desk when I work. Um, that's mainly when I use it. And then even when I'm eating, just it's on my desk right there in front of my face. And I'm like, oh. that is it for the gift giving list. I hope that you liked all of the items and I hope that you found something that could be useful for you or for somebody that you love. Let me know what you think in the comment box. Maybe you're gonna buy some of that stuff or maybe not. Maybe you have some other gift ideas that I didn't mention. Let me know in the comment section. I'm sure there's tons of other gifts that people with disabilities could use and would appreciate. Anyway, you guys, I'm gonna get out of here and I'm gonna turn on my heater because it's getting a little cold. So I will talk to you guys later. See you guys in the next video.